This is The Dreamer by Cynthia Ryland. It has beautiful painting pictures in it. The paintings are by Barry Moser. Or Moser. You'll see these beautiful stars. There's gonna be some more beautiful pictures next. It says, there once was a young artist. And you know what, there's a secret. The artist is God. Who lived all alone, quietly, and who spent his days as most young artists do, daydreaming. It was a lovely way of living. He would simply lie about, thinking, wondering, perhaps making small wishes. And as he dreamed in his mind, he would see something he hadn't seen before, something beautiful, something new. Then one day, as often happens with young artists, he decided he would make what he saw in his mind. You see this? Looks like he's cutting out stars. That must be the first thing that the artist saw. It says, so he made a star. He was surprised at how well it turned out and shyly pleased with himself. And having so well made this one thing, he was inspired to make more. So as often happens with young artists, he worked all night long making stars. And by morning, he was surrounded by heavens. I don't know about you, but I love to go outside and look at those beautiful stars that God made. Ooh, there's a night sky picture there. See, see the see. night sky, Jackson? Wow. Yeah, the night sky. And it says, his heavens twinkled and shone, and standing in this radiant beauty, the young artist was inspired to daydream again. He rested among the stars until he found something new in his mind. He set about making this new thing. He worked all night long. I wonder what the next thing is going to be. Let's find out. Oh, wow. I wonder if you recognize what that is. Look at his hand. He's holding this. What is that, Jack? The globe. It's the globe. It's the world, the earth. By morning, he had made an earth, round and sturdy, full of bumps and chunks and ridges. It borrowed the light of the heavens and sat full of form and grace. The young artist, shyly pleased with himself, rested his back against a smooth ridge and gently closed his eyes. And after a time, he saw something, another something new in his mind. Oh, look at that. What did he see, Jack? An ocean. An ocean, blue water. This he painted onto the hard, dry earth giving it color. The young artist loved the color and wanted more. So he floated on the blue water and dreamed. In time, he saw this, there's the water. And I think I know that our friends who are watching like to play in the water, right? You like to play in the water? And so it says that this is a pretend, a made up story, somebody imagining what it was like for God to create the world. Enjoying laying back in the cool blue water. Green grass was what he thought of next. Beautiful green grass and trees. He painted soft, sweet smelling green grass. And as young artists will almost always do, he got carried away and he painted some trees. And I know that there's one family who's watching right now who loves trees and they had a bunch of trees near their house cut down yesterday. Trees are really special. I'm so glad God made them. Painted green grass and trees all night long. And by morning, he was in a forest. Don't you wish he could recreate the trees that fast, Adair family? By morning time. He was in a forest, sleepy, and he lay down under a giant pine tree to dream. 
In his dreams, he saw many, many new things, and they all moved like light. So this is the forest he's in, and I see a shadow of a person there. I wonder, that must be God. But he is creating many, many things next. And look at that. Look at those beautiful animals. I see a whale and birds and fish. There's some fish down here. When he woke up, he made every living thing he had seen in his mind. And when he was finished, the whales parted the blue seas, the birds dotted the green trees, and the cow nuzzled his hand. There's a cow. There's a cow, and it's next to an elephant and a polar bear and a dog. Oh, and a beautiful peacock. He moved along among these living creatures and, like all young artists, felt such joy and love for his creation that he thought he might explode with happiness. Have you ever felt that way before? So happy you felt like you were, you were gonna explode? I felt that way before. I think when I met Jackson, when he was a tiny baby, I bet you that Eloise, I bet you your mommy felt that way the day you were born. Almost wanted to explode with happiness when she saw you. He felt such joy and love for his creation that he thought he might explode with happiness. He wanted to tell someone what he had done. To show someone his beautiful heavens and earth and water and grass and moving creatures. And also, oh. And he looked all around him. But the world was empty of anyone who might listen and understand. Someone with ears to hear and eyes to see. Someone who was an artist as well. So he wanted to share all this excitement with somebody, but there weren't any. What was missing? There weren't any people, Jackson said it. There weren't any people to tell. So guess what? There he is, the artist's hands are drawing. What is he drawing, Jack? People. He's drawing a person. So he worked all night long, and by morning he had made it. A new artist in his own image. Shyly pleased with himself, he made another one. He loved smell. The book, the book has an old smell, because this is an old book from my mother. It's been around for a while. He loved the company of the people he had made. He made one more. Guess what, guys? Look at that. There's a person sitting on the ocean, side of the ocean, or a lake on the beach. The world began filling up with artists. These made new ones, and the new ones made even newer ones. And, of course, they all loved to daydream. I think that's why there's a picture of somebody sitting Sometimes when I sit next to the water and look out at the waves going, I start to daydream or imagine other things. They started to daydream. Living among blue water and green grass, they have daydreamed the most beautiful things in the world. Look at that. Beautiful people. The first young artist, still a dreamer, has always called them, these artists, his children. And he made people with all different shades of skin and hair color and shapes of noses and eyes and different cultures. And he loves them all so deeply because they're his children. Aren't they beautiful? Jackson, aren't they beautiful? Look at all the different people in this picture. And they're all God's children. And they, in turn, have always called him. Who do we call the artist that made it all? God. They have always called him God. And that is the end of this sweet little story about the artist. The best artist of them all. The dreamer. And the reason he made all of those children. Do you remember? is because he wanted to share his life with them and his creation with them, his joy and his excitement with them. 
that's why I love this book so much. So we're going to take some time to pray about some of this together. And I'm going to turn off our video and say bye to our video for